有一家的人，他们有一个爸爸、一个妈妈和一个孩子。他是男孩子。他们的家有三个人：爸爸妈妈和男孩子。在他们的家也有牛，很多的牛。他们有五十只牛。他们的牛不是牛爸爸，他们是牛妈妈。因为他们的牛是牛妈妈，牛有牛奶。他们有。五十只牛妈妈，爸爸和孩子去牛那里挤牛奶。他们五点要去挤牛奶。他们每天五点去 ，like in the morning。如果他们不去挤奶，牛要不高兴。牛要说：“哎呀，他们在哪里？”我们要爸爸和孩子挤我们的牛奶，所以爸爸和男孩子每天五点去挤牛奶。可是男孩子。十四岁，五点，他很累，他不要去。爸爸知道，男孩子不很想去挤牛奶，可是他们有牛。他们想不想去？牛要他们去，所以男孩子五点很累，可是他跟爸爸去挤奶。爸爸。跟男孩子说：“好孩子，跟我去了。牛要我们了。我知道你很累，可是不要牛不高兴。去去去。”男孩子说。好，爸爸，我很累，可是我跟你去。他们每天五点就去。今天是二月二十四号。男孩子想要给他爸爸。一个礼物。十二月二十五号，要给爸爸
很好的礼物。可是，什么礼物？孩子要给一个很好的礼物。他想了想了，他知道了。他要给他爸爸的礼物是四点。孩子要去挤牛奶，爸爸不知道。可是。是二月二十五号，他的男孩子四点去挤奶了，所以爸爸五点去看男孩子。爸爸不知道男孩子四点去了。挤牛奶。他跟男孩子说：“孩子，我们要去挤牛奶了。”我知道，今天是十二月二十五号，可是。我们有牛，我们十二月二十五号也要去。男孩子跟他爸爸说：“好了，我去。<笑>”所以爸爸就去了。爸爸看了，有牛奶了。牛不要爸爸挤奶了。爸爸知道他的男孩子去了，他也知道是一个礼物。爸爸很喜欢。他孩子给他的礼物，爸爸去了孩子那里。他说：“你给了我很好的礼物，谢谢你。”爸爸。跟孩子很高兴，爸爸哭了一点点，因为他的孩子给他很好的礼物。Okay, at, this is the end of the story, and actually, I went back to the beginning, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the characters. So I'll explain them what the parts mean in English a little bit.、Um, so we have Jia. Here, Jia is home or family. So this is there is a family of people. So there's a family.、Um, this top part is a roof, and the bottom part represents a pig. So if you had in ancient China and even in villages in most of China now, if you had a pig under your roof, you had a home. You had a family set up. So here's Baba. This top part actually means something like an axe. Like to chop down a tree, and it refers to authority as well. So it's in a few other words.、Um, it's in the word for grandpa,、um, and then this part sounds like ba, so it just sounds like the word baba. Mama over here has that part on the left, just like ta for she, and so that means girl. And then over here, this means horse, but it sounds like ma. So when you put it together with something female, sounds sort of like ma. It's ma, mama. He. This is the word and that just got introduced through this story. This is often used on a necklace. It's also the word for peace. 
So this kind of and is like linking or harmony, things that go together. Here's a mouth, and here's grain that's ready to be harvested. This is the grain right here that's going to be plucked off of this plant. And so um, apparently if you've got enough grain for the mouths, you have peace or harmony. Here's hides. You see that same part here, right here, just squashed up. So that means a little baby, actually a baby boy originally. Here's the arms here, the head up here, and the, the feet are all tucked in, wrapped up like swaddling clothes. If you know, uh, away in a manger, I think refers to swaddling clothes or something that they'd wrap the feet up of the baby rather than let them kick around like we usually do now. Over in hides, this part sounds kind of the same, or at least it did at one time. Let's see if there's some others. Uh, yeah, we've seen some of these before. I'm looking for the word that means squeeze, as in to milk a cow. Let's find that. Here we go. This one's fun. So this over here, again, kind of sounds similar to the word ji, which means to squeeze something in your hand or have something be too tight. Um, here is the word for hand, or well, part of the component for hand. There's other ones that look like different things that also represent a hand, but so generally you're squeezing something using a hand. So there's that. Here's nionai, milk, cow milk specifically. Nai is milk in general, woman on the side. Hmm, let's think about why would female be in a word for milk, right? Over here, this sounds like nai. So it's just another thing that reminds us of the sound. If you know a lot of characters already, it helps anyway. Let's see if there's anything else worth it. Mei mm, Tian. This one is, it's got something in common with other characters we've seen, sort of. I'm not really sure if that has a meaning of its own. Down here, this word is actually the word mother. So if it looks a little bit like the female part with maybe some extra stuff in the middle here, those are supposed to be nipples because the mother's nursing. So there we go. You might never forget that. Here's Tian for sky. So here's Mei Tian every day. Tian could be sky, could be day. This Tian is like Da, right? Like a person with their legs down here, their arms stretched out, all spread out like big. And then what's above their head is the sky. So there we go.